Hi, pal. We're just at the gates now. All right, mate. I'll get them open. Okay, cheers, buddy. See you in a bit. Climatic. <laughs> <laughs> we said 2019 will be the year of adventures, so we are here today with Tommy Searle. Searle, I think is how we're saying it. We're saying yeah, it. we'll so get corrected when we get in there. We're just waiting for the back gates are opening. The back gates are opening. So today, we're going to be, well, I'll tell you what, we'll show you what we're going to be doing. So we picked a bloody good day to do this. It's, it's Baltic, but it's the year of adventures, so we don't care. Cold is good, it's gonna keep us awake. And I'm here with Tommy Searle, who is a monster sponsored dirt, do we call you dirt bike or motocross? Motocross. Motocross, motocross. So for, for the Americans who are watching, it's dirt bikes, for the Brits, it's motocross. And today we're gonna be playing around on. we expect I don't know I expect <laughs> to get cold and um, I don't know what to expect I'll have to see when I see you on it in a minute my race bike so um, you're not starting on something easy really we're not no okay <laughs> <laughs> break it down for me um, so I race for uh, Kawasaki okay. which is the brand of bike the 450 I race and then um, sponsored by Monster so I race the world championship and the British championship the world championships um, 20 rounds our first round is in uh, the first week in the march in argentina so hopefully that'll be a little bit warmer out there <laughs> yeah so we're gonna get kitted up start the bikes up and uh hopefully i'll stay rubber side down see you in a bit it's baltic <laughs> <laughs> it was minus two when we set off I think it's going to reach a peak high of two degrees today. Ooh. Two degrees. So, but sod it. We're going to get out there. We're going to have some fun until the fingers go numb. But first, <sighs> your bagel, sir. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, sir. Thank <laughs> Hashtag fitness. Yeah, baby. I do this. It's my hair blowing the breeze. Is it blowing? Uh. Is it like a music like video? I want it that way. There's a health and safety expert somewhere now crying. Here we go. Do that in green. I missed it all. Yeah, I was, I was jumping. I did, a, I did, a, I did a, a flip. You did it. I did, I yeah. did it. Yeah, a flip, jumps, everything. Yeah. Yeah, you missed it. Should we go now? Yeah, yeah, you, you missed it, though, mate. Fuck oh. man. <laughs> I was watching. He went over that jump and just did one onto the other. I was like, oh, sorry. Then all of a sudden, he just went. Whee! <laughs> 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 oh, 
Yeah, I have watched it on TV, but that is mental. That is mental. That is the goal for the end of the year, is to do that. And just go steady and join back on. And it's feet on the pegs all the time. Yeah, you can put off a little bit. Just go, just do how you feel, like, just do. Very slippy. <laughs> I mean, clearly that was all the ground's fault. Not my lack of control or over exuberance. It's because it's frozen, it's not helping you. And it's just, and we're doing a small bit, but just go around a bit more. So when you're going around the bends, what's the what did you are you on more back brake than front brake around the bend? A little bit, not too much front because it'll die, but yeah quite a lot of front at the same time but for you what you're doing now just very easy on the front and then put your weight a little bit further forward on the C yeah. and lean forward at the minute you're in the middle and your legs sort of dragging yeah but if you watch me I'll be a bit more over the front leg up out the way and then I'll go okay it's freaking freezing here today which means it's slippy yeah yeah the ground's frozen so it's so slippy you have no feeling for the bike so he's doing real good but next time we're going to go to a um more open track where we get a bit of speed up and um yeah you can get right into it today we're gonna just get used to the bike do a bit of cornering so one of the main things on these is it's different is when you go into a corner you shift your butt right up yeah to here from here you slide forward and then so that's the goal today goal by the end of the year is to do that big one end of the year <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna say that right here right now end of the year i'm gonna do that jump this is the first one or the second one Second one. Oh, I don't know about the second one. Which depends how many times you get out. I'm not saying how high I'm going to go. I'm just going to go over it. Oh, you can right go over it. <laughs> you could go over that today. Definitely that the tabletops I want to be doing, you know, by the I end of the year. I think you could jump the first one, clear the first one by the end of the year. Either. Yeah? Yeah. You have and to then, practice. You can't just go home and come back at the end of the year. Oh, no, I'm going to go buy one. Yeah, that's what you need to do. And then there's a trap near me, about 15 minutes away. That's it, I'm putting it on the video. By the end of the year, we'll be back to do that tabletop jump. Not the second one, that's overly ambitious. <laughs> Unless I've got a good insurance company. <laughs> that should be... Oh, but my hair and beard looks awesome, doesn't it? Looking good, mate. <laughs> As you can see, so we've been playing on this purpose-built track here. That is so much bloody fun. Got a bit of air on that last bit, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, got a bit of air. I'd like to, I did get very close to the edge, though. Yeah. I was like, a, a something hairs <laughs> a something hairs breadth away from tumbling down the side I'm going to be back with Tommy and we're going to a really well purposed amateur track where I'm going to be able to really fly around and start learning this I said it, I'm going to want to be able to do that tabletop jump by the end of this year fucking 2019 year of adventures now let's show you what it's really supposed to look like when Tommy gets loose on the track
So a massive thank you to Tommy. Thank you very much for having me. It's thank been a you. pleasure. But we will be back because today was squirrely, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a little bit frozen, so didn't make life easy for you. Yeah, yeah. So my first time on a dirt bike, and apparently it was the most dangerous way of learning to do it today. Yeah, <laughs> on a 450. The bike you was on today, which is what I'll race in the World and British Championships. This year is about trying new things, and so whether it was cold, rainy, wet, muddy, it didn't matter. We were getting out there today. Tommy does this every day. And he went, you'll have seen by now, the crazy edit of him flying over that freaking back show. He said, like, yeah, it's normal. Just the normal day for you. Yeah, no, this, this is, your is a normal day. So it was nice for you to come down, but today I'd have normally been doing my motos. Yeah, I ride probably three, four times a week. And then obviously I race all over the world in the world championships. And then, uh, but yeah, we train a lot. We ride a lot. And um, yeah, that's uh, just a normal day. How did you get into doing this? Me and my older brother both got a bike for Christmas. Um, and then we just rode in the garden. Yeah, like most kids that get a little bike and um, then went to little races and then, yeah, now I'm here racing world championships. So it was never a thing like we got into to to do it as a profession. It was just a I hobby think. and um, I was quite good, doing. yeah. I race a world championship, there's 20 rounds. Uh, first one's gonna start in March and that's in Argentina. So yeah, we have Argentina, Brazil, Qatar, Indonesia, China. Um, that's the main flyaways and then a lot in Europe. So busy schedule but yeah I still love it I'm 29 I've been doing it since I was five so I can't get enough really and how much time does it take for you on a daily basis um, to be at the top it's a full-time job it's yeah. it's a lifestyle you know we um, yeah I get up in the morning I I train I ride I go back I train so is your training mainly on the bike uh, probably six hours a week training on the bike because it's quite intense training you know really high heart rate and then at least 10 hours of training in the gym when I say gym, I mean like cycling, gym, running. You're so you're burning um, a lot of calories. Yeah, so a it's a lot of um, a lot of endurance work, and then you have to have that explosive, explosive yeah. power as well. No, even at this level, the nutritional side of things is still a bit of a bit of a mystery puzzle to you guys, isn't it? It's like, yeah, like you think you might struggle with food and things like that, but even top athletes are the same there's just not a culture of people being educated on nutrition and things so we're going to come back with tommy and we're going to go through that we're going to come we're going to ride then we're going to do some sports specific training alongside that you'll be able to utilize that stability core work and, and just creating a more athletic physique something that's capable of transversing from gym to something on the bike would be your main piece of advice for someone wanting to try something new or something a little bit more adventurous um, just to get out and try it because yeah you, you might get on the bike you might say ah oh, not for me but you might get on it and love it and uh, there's a lot of people that i know now that are my age older and um yeah they just love it they started really late they some people couldn't do it when they were young because their dads didn't want them to or yeah. parents didn't want them to so they get into it after they're out on their own money they started and and they're so into it you know they they just can't get enough so you're not too old you know you can be 30 35 you can get into it and um, there's plenty of time left for you to ride but what you can take away from today is whether you're a professional or whether you just want to have a go at this this is a tough sport to be in it's going to burn calories it's going to get you out and doing something active take Tommy's advice and just get out and try it you don't have to be great sometimes you just have to get on shit fall off it and get back on to just get good or just enjoy a bit of life get outside of those four walls of the gym and the four walls of your living room thank you very much it's been an absolute pleasure thank you very i'm much. really looking forward to coming back and uh and maybe I will drop the bike one less. Th no, I only dropped it once, didn't I? I've you done did, all right. Good, I've done, done all right. We was quite surprised actually. Even when you first initially pulled away, it wasn't like you just done it. Yeah, relaxed. Not you, too um, bad. Not no, too you bad. looked good on the bike. It was like we said earlier, difficult conditions. But when you get on a proper open track, my track's quite tight, big jumps and stuff. So when you get on a proper track, a bit more open, I'm your fly around. Get the rhythm going, brilliant. So thank you all for joining us and we'll catch you in the next episode of Undisputed. Boom, baby. Lately I've been doing shit different, cooking like a chef, I've been all up in the kitchen. Had to make a move, had to make a little distance. A lot of people tripping, they could never see the vision. Fuck that, tell them bounce.